All right, man, so we back at it again with another crazy video. But before we get into the video, I need y'all to do me a big favor, all right? So today's whole question of the day is how much money do somebody have to pay you to slap your mama, okay? I'm, I'm curious, all right? Let's have some fun in the comment section. Me personally, to slap my mama, I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna need about, uh, cause I know the consequences after that. So I'm gonna need about, uh, sorry, mama, I'm gonna need about 10 bill. 10, not 10 mil. 10 bill, okay? 10 bill. Like Bill Gates, 10 bill. That's what I need. I ain't gonna lie, cuz. Slapping my mama, boy. That's a daily situation, but uh, <laughs> y'all let me know what y'all do in the comment section. How much money somebody got paid to slap your mama, all right? Anyways, without further ado, man, hit the like button, subscribe to on post notifications, follow your boy on IG. What is y'all doing, man? Follow your boy on IG. I love each and every one of y'all, man. I believe we hit 53K. I love y'all. I got a podcast on the link in the description box below. Go support your boy. Without further ado, man, let's get into this critical race theory let's get it let's go you talk about critical race theory which is pretty much going to be teaching kids how to hate each other mm. how to dislike each other that's pretty much what it's gonna, that's pretty much i don't care say it's pretty much what it's going to all come down to you're going to deliberately teach kids this white kid right here got it better than you because he white you're going to purposely tell a white kid oh the black people are all down and suppressed how do i have two medical degrees if i'm sitting here oppressed how do i get first of all I, literally this is, I, what is in the air today? What is in the air today? I, I might, I ain't gonna lie, in this video, I might do a little sprint around my room because I don't know what's in the air. I ain't never heard so much common sense in my life. This is my first time watching this video. It was my first time watching the last video y'all just seen, okay? But this is crazy. And it, it, it's so funny to me because it doesn't even, it don't even be white people. Half the time, it don't even be white people saying this type of stuff. It be black people that's saying, oh, we're oppressed and we're this and we're that. We can't do this. We're black because we're black because we're black. That's all they say is because we're black because we're black. That man said he got two medical degrees. Two medical degrees. So how? How is it because you're black? How is it, how is it white privilege? How is it any of that? I feel like you could do anything you want in this world if you put your mind to it. Stop letting race define who you... Stop letting another person race dictate what you can be in the future. You can be anything you want in the future if you stop looking at race. Stop looking at the color of somebody's skin. Look at their heart. Look at their heart. <laughs> God looks at the heart. He don't look at your skin. You're not going to heaven because you're white. That, <laughs> that's not no. Ain't no white privilege. None of that. Oh man, this is. Come on. You only got five minutes now. Five minutes. Two medical degrees. No mom, no dad in the house. Work my way through college. Sat there and hustled my butt off to get through college. You gonna tell me somebody that looked like all y'all white folks kept me from doing that? Are you serious? What's sickening about this whole thing is what y'all doing right now is already something I do in my community right now to speak out against stuff because black folks are getting told by other black folks, oh, you know you ain't gonna be able to do nothing out there in the world because them white folks ain't gonna let you get no. Oh, you know you're not gonna be able to. I've been saying this for the longest. Dog, it be like I just, bro, it be your own people. It be the own black folks that say stuff like this, bro. Oh, you know, you can't be known because of white people. Because of this. Man, look, I love white people. I love white people. I don't care what color skin. I don't care about none of that. I love all people. But I could tell you this for a fact is that I would never tell another person that they can't do nothing in life because of the white folks. Because the white people, because they're like this, the white thing. It be so, it's so bad in America now. If a white person look at a black person wrong, you know what they do? Why do you look at me like that? Oh, it's because I'm black. It's because I'm black. It's because I'm black. Like, <laughs> it be so bad, bro. It's getting so bad. But this dude is, man, he's speaking straight facts, dog. Speaking straight facts. And then, you know, it's crazy. These black folks, they say stuff like this and then they take it to their household. And you know what happens in the household? They teach their kids this. They just say, kid, now these, now these kids growing up with no common sense. They're not, they growing up not knowing the simple, simple uh, history. They growing up not knowing simple multiplication. But they sure know what racism is. Or they think they know. Because what they say racism is, is not racism. They sure know what white privilege is, but they don't realize that that's a myth. It's not such thing as white privilege now. It's not. It's not. Show me white privilege. Please, show me. Come on, man. Because you know, the, white, the, the white man, the white man gonna keep you down. Well, how did I get where I am right now if some white man kept me down? How am I now directing over folks that look just like you guys in this room right now? Sure. How? 
What, what, what kept me down? What oppressed me? I work for myself from off the streets to where I am right now. You gonna sit here and tell me this lie of critical race theory? Of this, this, this is the reason why black folks can't get ahead because of white folks? Are you kidding me? This is what we come to now. I can't believe we're even talking about this right now. The last thing I'm gonna say right here is something that's crazy. Martin Luther King said he wanted his kids to grow up in a world where they are judged by the contents of their what? Character. Their character, not their skin. Absolutely. If they let this stuff go on right now, it is absolutely doing the complete reverse of what he's doing. So when February come, don't talk about Martin Luther King. Ooh. When February come, don't talk about black history. Mother dog will sit there and just pee, pee on his grave with this nonsense. That's exactly what's about to happen. When it all comes down to it, the person that's going to be suffering from this, the one that's going to be hurt from this, is the kids. Yeah. Ten years from now, if this stuff goes on, whose fault is it going to be? Whose fault is it going to be? Who are we going to look back on and blame for this? Because this is stuff we're talking about right now. This stuff is going on right now. I do this stuff on a daily basis. I'm in the hood. I'm in the communities. I'm out there with folks in their face. I've been doing this stuff since I was 18 years old, talking mm. to black folks. And you know what? None of them are buying this nonsense. None of them are. But if you want to implement this into the school system, I guarantee you to the day that I die, I'm going to be the very person right there debunking stuff, tearing stuff down, letting them know they can do exactly what I did and get exactly where I am by putting themselves to work and getting there. Ain't not one white person ever going to keep any of them from getting there. So the CRT stuff, BS. Bro. <laughs> Bro. I mean, did he just, did he not just spit? Or like, or is it just me that just caught like a, like a, you feel me? Like, I, you feel I got a little chill from it. Bro, this man, man, look. Everything he said is pure facts. Everything he said is pure facts. And like, dog, I talk about this topic so much, which don't worry, bro. I'm getting to a lot of different topics. But I talk about this topic so much because it's so heavy in America. And I talk about everything that's going on in the world. You feel me? I talk about everything. But I talk about this topic because it's like, Black people come at me every single day. Every single day. I mean, I get taught, I get pressed in public and all. Black people come at me every single day about stuff like this. And when I tell them what I see or what my viewpoint is on it, they look at me crazy. They look at me all like, you're not black, you're just a white man, this, and you're just a white man. Like, no, I'm not. I just have common sense to know that I would not let a race stop me from being what I can be in the future from doing what I can do in the future. And it's so bad because black people always say, black this, I'm always support black business and black this, bro. It's more white people that support me than the black people. And all I do is speak facts. I speak facts. I'm not on nobody's side. I'm not on white people's side. I'm not on black people's side. I'm right there in the middle. I'm Look, if something is true, it's true. If something is factual, it's factual. I'm not finna be, I'm not finna be a hypocrite and say, oh, well, black people, I'm not doing all that. I stand firm to who I am. I keep it real. I keep it a buck. Keep it a buck. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this video down below. Uh, y'all, this, this man was just spitting, okay? Spitting straight fire. I mean, literally, straight fire. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this comment. Uh, on the, What did I just say? Y'all let me... Jeez. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this video in the comment section below, man. I love each and every one of y'all, man. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace. Yeah. <laughs>